Hi everyone! Now we are talking about health problems. The most common way to ask about someone's health condition are How do you feel today? How are you feeling? Is everything okay? And that time they most likely respond I'm okay, I'm not feeling very well, not very well. When you hear or know that the person is not feeling very well or is not okay, the next question that you're asking is What's the matter? What's the problem? And if the person wants to say what the problem is, they say, I have plus health condition. For example, I have a headache or I've got plus health condition. I've got headache. Firstly, let's learn about minor illnesses. If you've got a pain in the head, you say, I have a headache. If you have a pain in the throat, you say, I have a sore throat. If you have a pain in the back, you say, I have a backache. If you have a pain in the shoulder, you say, I have a sore shoulder. If you have a pain in the ear, you say, I have earache. If you have red, watery and swollen eyes, you say, I have sore eyes. If you have a pain in the stomach, you say, I have a stomach ache or I have abdominal pain. If there is a severe pain in the chest or in the heart, you say, I have a heartburn. In cold seasons, mostly in autumn and winter, we often get a cold or get the flu. We are feeling cold, but our body becomes very hot. That time we say, I have a temperature or I have a fever. Some people have allergic reaction to a pollen in the air with the itchy eyes, watery eyes, and they sneeze, <coughs> they cough, so it's called seasonal allergies. Sometimes you are not feeling very well, your head is turning around, it's called dizziness or I'm feeling dizzy. When you play football, you fall down and you broke your leg. So that time you say, I have a broken leg. Or if you broke the bone in your arm, you say, I have a broken arm. If you haven't broken anywhere, but you have hit it very hard, there is a dark area and very painful area. It's called bruise. I remember when I was learning to ride a bike, I was going back home every night with a legs and bruise. I will talk about you one dance. I know that you know about that dance. It's called twist. You know how to dance it? Like, mm. you cannot see, unfortunately, but um, the ankle, uh, it's the wrist, but the ankle is going right and left, left and right, like this. Not the wrist, but the ankle below. Why do they call it twist? Because the name is taken from the injury. Twisted ankle or sprained ankle. Some elderly people, after they are mostly 55 or 60, they suffer from high blood pressure. Their blood pressure is going up and sometimes they become unconscious or faint or pass out. That's why they are taking pills to keep it stable. And today you decided to make the dinner yourself. First of all, you go to the kitchen, take the knife and you start with chopping the vegetables. And now you're chopping onion, the knife comes to your finger and oh, oops, you cut your finger. So it's bleeding, a blood comes out. What do you do? You put it under water and after that you put a plaster on it, right? Now you keep going, you never give up. Now it's time to turn on the cooker. While you're turning on the cooker, ouch, you burnt your hand. If you didn't put it under water immediately, the skin of your hand will go a little bit up and there will be a water inside. So it's called blister. Now your dinner is ready finally. You start to eat, you take one small piece, you put it in your mouth and you are chewing. When you swallow it, <coughs> it gets stuck in your throat and you are <coughs> Choking. You ate and finished your food and you are feeling a little bit sick. Um, you have a dizziness and you have a stomach ache. You want to vomit or throw up. 
and you become unconscious, you faint. Someone in your family is calling the ambulance. They come and they say, you have a food poisoning. They do the first aid to you and you become conscious or you come round. After that, you come to the conclusion that the cooking is not for you. In the end, whatever you do, wherever you go, try to be very careful because your health is the most important thing in the world. If you're not a good cook, either order online or eat out. If you found this video very helpful, please subscribe my channel and thumbs up!